you are planning to show me that I come in to eat. I am always like this. <laughs> what does a dress matter to convey to the public? <laughs> yes. We will start today's record. I think the 15th story from Zenfeld, Zen Bones, written Paul Dretz of the Gateless Gate. This is a story of Thousands Three Blues. I was so happy I came back next to my monkey. I was all sleeping. I would hear another one sound. I can climb the wall. I could hear the sound coming from the same direction. I jumped towards the direction. I could see it is coming from almost the same point. I rushed up and I saw the golden cage and inside the golden cage, the same parrot which I caught and said August 15, 1947, freedom, freedom, freedom. It is inside. It came back inside and screaming, freedom, freedom, freedom. <laughs> Woman asked. And people kept on telling the borrowed knowledge answers and they think they are literate. They are made to believe that they are literate because of the borrowed stinking knowledge which is not theirs. If it is not theirs, then it is a stolen one, it is borrowed no and if it is a borrowed knowledge, then it doesn't remain with you. Before you could hold it, it goes off and still you are running after thinking you will get freedom from that literacy. I am not telling that literacy is bad. Take it. But go back to make it practical. Back to your house with your Sanskrit name. Doesn't reply, Temple of Hoji, south of the lake. When did you leave there? asked Umon. Wondering how long person would continue with such factual answers. Factual answers are stupid answers making you more, more stupid and mentally retarded. Trying to hold on with both hands and both legs. Not ready to leave both hands and both legs and climb one more step ahead. The 25th of August answered Tosin. Woman said, I should give you three blows, madam. With a stick, but today I forgive you. Either sit you or leave this place. The next day, Tosin bowed to Moon and asked, Yesterday you forgive, forgive me three blows. I do not know why you thought me wrong. Woman rebuking Tosin. Spiritless responses said, you are good for nothing. You simply wander from one monastery to another. <laughs> so, woman was trying to provoke to find out whether answers are coming from bookish knowledge and is telling exact effect. That means woman has understood that. Thorson was a living a slave life and he will never become a master. A lot of time is wasted. So he said, I have to give you three bloody blows. And Tosin asked for what? And he said, you are wandering from one place to another one place. If you take the seed from one place, keep putting another, 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 another. It will never become a plant, never become a tree. It cannot flower, it cannot give you fruits. And it still go after the government asking for seats. Come out of that. The moment he said, you're wandering from one monastery to another. Woman's words. Before woman's words were ended, before woman's words, the person was so conscious. For the first time, he could get a punch direct, which knocked him down. And in that instant, he understood, he was enlightened that he has to be in one monastery because the same monastery is everywhere. They eat from the mouth and they go to the toilet the same. But if you sit in one place, but in hand is worth two in the bush. The same wife, you go and search for other, other girls. Here itself, you have not to explode your wife, your husband, explode your family. Your family, joint family in the family tree. 
How dare you move from one to another? They show you places, traveling people. Go to that place. You can see you many, many. You have not even seen your own land properly. You have not seen your body properly. And you keep throwing money to travel. 